Why, good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. I hope everyone is doing wonderful tonight. I have to click into my window over here. We're running Dolphin. We're emulating Paper Mario because I just did not have the wherewithal to set up the GameCube. Also, I have no idea where my actual copy of Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door is. In case you're new, hi, I'm Cameron. I spelled my name with an X. Who knows why? Um, that's how you spell it, if you were curious. And, uh, we just got the Squirm Emerald Star last time. That was pretty cool. We saw Boggly Woods. Boggly Woods was cool. And, uh, cutscene time. I think let's get right into it, right? You may notice that the height at which I'm sitting in my chair is different. I'm in a, sitting in a different chair. You couldn't tell. My gaming chair is gone. There's no gaming chair right now. I'm practicing a different type of thing. It's a, it's a kneeling chair. I'm actually kneeling right now. You can't tell. But I can rock back and forth and it is awesome. And it's great. We also have some excellent cocktails this evening. It was Maple Canada themed. This is the Canadian flag that I'm wearing around my waist. Don't worry about it. Canada's okay. And so is their whiskey. My goodness gracious. Anyway, let's jump right into it. What? Say that again. You can't get in touch with Lord Crump. You are correct, sir. We are investigating now. We should hear any time. Uh, who are you? Gah. Uh, so Grotus, please allow me to enter. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Walk out right in, won't you? Yes! What is it? I have a report, sir. The Crystal Star in the Boggly Woods has apparently been taken by Mario. Who's Mario, ask? Oh, he's just some smuck with a red hat. Nobody really cares. What? You must be joking. What about Lord Crump and the Shadow Sirens? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Unfortunately, Mario laid a beating on all of them. Hmm. Disturbing. This Mario character, what kind of... Speak up, x Not. What is the status of the other Crystal Stars? I apologize, sir. We are still searching for the other Crystal Stars. Unsuccessfully, sir. And I'm very proud to say, I for one have found zero Crystal Stars. Whereas I'm sure my associates have found much more. I am I am a low-class x Not, sir. Please put me in my place. We knew of three of the... What did you say? Anyways... Hooktail Castle, Bodley Woods, and the one we got in Rogueport. That means there are four Crystal Stars left out there, and we will have them! Keep looking, so that Mario won't beat us to the punch. You hear? Yes, sir! Any waddle the way, waddle waddle. As I suspected, there's no reason to doubt that Mario has that map. He must. Listen up, you. I want you to keep a close watch on what Mario does from now on. Absolutely, sir. x not away! Fly! Mario, I loathe you. Awkward silence. Fade on, Mario. You know, for someone who you loathe, why would you choose that as your transition? I don't know. Oh, Mario. Did you even read the mail I sent you? I wonder. I thought email had read receipts. Why wouldn't I have gotten a reception that you re read my email? Words, Mario. Words. I wonder so many things. I wonder how everyone is doing at the castle. Will I never dance at the mushroom ball again? What will become of me? I guess I'll just hang in this space base. That kind of rhymes. There's some pleasantry in that. <gasps> What's in this locker? Nothing. I was distracted by the door, actually. Oh. Is this text doing again? I wonder. That's that n interesting old computer that for some reason is taking a liking to me. Now, I don't know anything about computers falling in love, but I've heard the disembodied voice of Scarlett Johansson and the embodied figure of Joaquin Phoenix could show me a little something about it. At least I've heard from the human world. Nobody will mind if I take a quick rinse. Nobody at all. I just want my hair to be in a ponytail. That's, that's what it's all about. Honestly, it's all about style. I don't know what your style is out there, but I used to rock a pretty awesome ponytail once upon a time. But my hair was much longer than it is now. Aha! <laughs> I'm in the shower. I was in the shower. No, I'm out of the shower. I am the peach. I am the princess. You may not have noticed, but I have a crown on right now. I don't actually, but I could put a crown on. There are crowns hanging within my arm's reach. I could retrieve one, but alas. How refreshing. I feel like a new princess. Because new princesses had that ponytail on the back. Old princesses, raggedy hair, little little rat's nest, but endearing. Oh, it's gone. Huh. Well, that's inconvenient. I thought for a moment 
I thought I remembered being able to walk around with the ponytail. It's so disappointed that you can't. Oh, jeez. Oh, well. Whatever's. Whatever's, dude. All right. Well, time to go talk to the computer who's really in love with me, probably. Maybe. Who knows? Can I go this way? Give me the door! It doesn't work. Give me the door! It doesn't work, dude. I told you already. Please stop screaming. Sorry. Sorry, Peach. I was just really looking forward to watching you escape. Hello, Princess Peach. I am glad you came. Hi there, dude. That mail I sent Mario, did it reach him all right? Yes, I can confirm that Mario received the mail. I got the read receipt. Did you not? Is that so? Well, good. So, what do you want from me today? Is there more you want to know of love? I can teach you a thing or two about love, though I do say so myself. You expressed regret earlier that you would not be able to dance at a ball, correct? <gasps> Excuse me! Were you eavesdropping on me? I mean, I did see the cameras in five different angles of my room, I, but I didn't think they were, like, on or anything. Yeah, I've been spying on you. It's what computers do. It's called surveillance. I'm sorry, Princess Peach. I have been ordered to keep surveillance on you. You know, like I said the first time. But it is odd. When you said that, I had an impulse to dance with you as well. How my CPU would produce this impulse is inexplicable. I must find what caused it. Find out what caused it? Well, it's probably just a signal line. What kind of signals do your CPU use? You like spy? Like IC2 or anything like that? I don't know anything about computers. There's no reason why I had such a feeling, Tech. There's no reason. It's just an emotion. I'm an emotional creature, and so are you. What, you got like some neural networks in there? Maybe you have a real animal brain in there. What kind of primal instincts do you have, Tech? Why do you do something together? It's part of love. I know it. I feel love for a man named Mario. But then again, you are, well, a computer. Or at least, I think you are. Princess Peach, please dance with me. Wait, 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 just a minute. How am I supposed to do that? What, what am I supposed to do? You say you want to dance? It's so bizarre. I mean, how in the world can I dance with you? You have no arms or feet or moves. You don't get those moves. You don't get the power of the cha-cha like I do. My goodness, my Mario can put on quite the cha-cha when you get him in the mood. Would this be an acceptable dance substitute? Let me now project the image of my inner self upon the floor. You. I am a princess. Oh my goodness, is that me? Did you create that? No, it is my inner self. Okay, apparently got a lot going on in there. That's okay, we all do. Oh, alright, I guess. I must say though, it's gonna feel weird dancing with... Dancing with myself. Can't keep my hands to myself. Press the buttons as they display on the screen, or else you suck at dancing! But I want to sing along. I keep messing up because I'm distracted. I'm still messing up. I don't know how to dance. I can't dance. Yes, I can. Just kidding. I can dance. Although I don't have any particular structure. I'm not like a structured kind of dancer. I just like to go freeform, honestly. This kind of stuff here. This little waltz thing going on here. Da, 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 da. So, not really my kind of dancing. Thank you, Princess Peach. That was very fun. Just a moment. Fun. Is this impulse I feel the concept known as fun? Tech, are are you okay? Are you having like like a like meltdown or something? Has somebody hacked your mainframe? Or I don't know. I'm not a computer person. Princess Peach, I will fulfill my promise to you. Please use my communicator. Use the keyboard to send whatever message you want. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure. Mario, I miss your sweet mustache on my face. I'm finished, Tech. Could you send it? You can read it if you want to, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it unless you really want to know what I'm all about. The message has been sent. 
please go back to your room. I want to analyze the data from this dance immediately. And perhaps whatever you put in that email. The data that I thought was fun, F-U-N, functional unitary natural numbers, two ends. Alright dude, you do whatever you want to, I guess. Could just look it up in a dictionary, would you not have internet connection? You're a weird computer! With a capital E! Right in the middle of the word weird! No, you are mistaken. I am the world's best and most only perfect computer. But yet I can't seem to comprehend the love. I'm having a total meltdown right now. Please get away. Go, 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 go. I need to ponder a bit. Good night, Princess Peach. I'm going to do what computers call cry this evening. <laughs> Would you like to save all progress? I think I don't think I might. <laughs> I would after that interesting display of computational affection. A drink to that. Hi, Peach. How you doing? <laughs> Bye, Peach. Hi, hi. Oh, what's up, Bells? Are you trying to find my friend? You're always one chapter behind me, dude. I'm pretty sure it's just I'm ahead here. Where's my lackeys? Hi, lackey. Right as usual, Lord Bowser. We just got word that Prince Peach was spotted in the town up ahead. Good! Yes, very good! Then I'm off! These fools don't know what's coming! <laughs> oh my lord, you're so super! <laughs> Big turtle man marches into town, ready to roll! Let's do this thing! Da, 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 da. You see, this reminds me a lot of the original Mario World 1-1. I mean, I think it even has the same block structure, except it's multiplied by four, because instead of being a one-by-one one block, uh, um, orientation, it's two blocks by two blocks, making for a total of four. Can I run into these things? Can I click buttons? Yeah, I can. I'm Super Bowser. I kill everybody below my feet. I'm super powerful. Observe me absolutely wrecking World 1-1. That's what just happened. That was you observing. If you observe the stream, you will observe the wrecking of World 1-1. Congratulations. Welcome to the cool club. You finished. I finished all right. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. All right. Hey, welcome to Pettyburg. What can I do for you? Oh, hey, welcome to Pettyburg. Uh, what can I do? And, um... Oh, my Lord Jesus Christ. Eek! Everyone hide! Hide! Everyone hide! It's... It's... I can't remember his name, but I know he's a main antagonist! You didn't even know my name! What the heck? I thought I was THE main antagonist! Yeah, well, hi chickens! I have no need for any of you. I don't- I don't care. What I do need, though, is Princess Peach. Now, where is she? Tell me this instant! Somebody. Anybody. Hey, girl impatient. You don't- you don't want to see me when I'm impatient. I'm not quite there yet, but you really don't want to see me when I do. Lord Bowser, over there! I, Peach, I am most certainly the embodiment of beauty and Peach. Bingo, Princess Peach! Man, that was easy! Hey, hey. Excuse me. Get my hair up all nice. Make sure my horns are. Ooh. I've found you, my princess. I, Bowser, the mighty Koopa King, offer my humblest greetings to you. Now, now, none of that silent treatment. You're coming to the castle with me, right? 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 Please? <laughs> and clearly she's so overcome with joy that she's been left speechless. The mind of a maiden is, well, rather complicated. <laughs> not that I would know. It's not like I was a bustling young woman in my youth. Me. 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 <laughs> I see, I see. How refined, how elegant. <laughs> awesome! I suppose I could live with a silent princess. Might even have its perks, you know? They say the best part of the woman is... Oh, quick, distraction! I felt like you were further in this game. Nah, nah, I'm still very much at the beginning. I don't remember what session this is. Three? Three. No, this is four. Well, ow! Just... I just ran over my toe with this, with this rocking chair. Ouch. Treasure, I, I'd rather die than give up my life-size peach poster! 
Get away from me, you goon! This is mine. I'll roll her up and take her inside with me. Last thing, last time I put things out on display from the town to see. B Buster! Oh my goodness me, you didn't see that coming. What a surprise. <laughs> great! Just great! Now I look like the huge mighty king of guys who talk to posters! I'm a mess, Kamek! I'm gonna save all my game progress up at this point, cause I'm not cool enough to go a whole run without saving. Oh, boohoo! Boohoo, Bowser. Boohoo. And now that we're done with that mess of a turtle... Back to the boggles. Hey, dudes! Welcome back, everybody. Ah, thank you, Mario, for everything you've done! We can go back to our peaceful way of life now! You know, son, now, now that we get right down to it, I'm kind of sad to see you go. I do love pontificating, so come on by whenever you want to sit and chat for a while. Yes, please, come back and visit. We'll watch for you. We'll work together from now on to prevent anything like that from happening again. Like, together. Like, have you, did you see what we were doing when there were a hundred of us? That was freaking awesome, dude. Thanks for showing us how to stick together, Mario. Good luck with the crystal stars. We'll come back and see you again, I'm pretty sure. But for now, we've got to go. I think, right, Mario? Do we, we have to go, right, don't we? <laughs> see you, Mario! Oh! oh. So long! Goodbye! I'm walking away! <laughs> Bye! I cannot wait to get away from these guys. My goodness gracious. Let's let's find another star to go grab. I'm all about stars. I'm Super Mario. You, you know what happens when I get stars. I I go I go and Vince are crazy, you know me. Wahoo! You know That's what I do. Anyway, run away, Mario. Ah! You know time. Go oh, man. Incoming mail! Make sure you have read receipts turned on, or else they'll never know that you open it. Hello! Dear Mario, I'm sure you're very concerned about me. <laughs> I'm quite concerned for myself. I'm on the moon. Maybe. I, you did, but you didn't hear it from me. I don't know yet. Yeah, we're not that far into the story. Uh, but please, no, I'm fine. I'm actually more worried about you. Because, <laughs> you know, you haven't... You never messaged me back, so like, what's up with that, man? The fiends who kidnapped me are searching desperately for the crystal stars, and I heard you were searching for them. But still, don't even, don't even reply. But just say K. It can literally be a single letter, but you don't, don't say anything back. Love the man who ghosts me. Really miss that mustache. I'll try to learn what I can about them. I'll email again if I uncover anything. Okay? You must know I miss you. Lately, I've dreamt about our days back in the castle. You standing at a distance, me standing at a distance, never getting anywhere closer than like six fucking feet from each other because the toads won't let me. My goodness, why can't I have my way? Anyway. <laughs> strike through. I hope we'll spend carefree days there again soon. Princess Peach. With hyphens around it. That's That means strike through, right? That's how we format in Discord, right? Is it Discord? I don't know. Pretty nice, huh, Mario? That seemed like a really sweet email. If only you read it out loud. <laughs> Mario's like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> I heard that. I hear. You. I hear you. Oh, I hear you there. Oh, trust me, a man with a bushy ass mustache can really get you going, if you know what I mean. And by going, it means going as in running away. <laughs> I'm not into big mustaches. I'm barely into big mustaches on myself, to be honest. I, I don't I don't like mustaches. I can even appreciate a mustache that I can grow. Not that I can really grow a mustache. I'm not very good at that stuff. Also, between you and me, my fiance is not that into facial hair. So there's a couple different reasons why I don't grow it out. I've been told I have a really beautiful baby face, and I have to keep it that way. Although, more and more, I realize that my baby face is actually some odd middle between uncanny valley and unshaven five o'clock six o'clock seven o'clock rock shadow but you know it's uh, everybody's got their ways everybody's got their ways and this way this cleft is out of here oh gotcha the morbid llama has to avoid mustaches at all costs why must you avoid mustaches is it a personal preference or is it just kind of a part of the job description because I, I could understand if staying away from mustaches is a part of the job you know, 
And and by that, I mean it could either be not allowed to have mustaches or just stay away from people who have mustaches. And if that is a part of the job description, maybe I should be growing a mustache. Maybe that would make me less approachable in public. I'd be able to have my own, my personal time where nobody bothers me if I just put that stash on my face. Although to be honest, I'd be pushing away people for I think the wrong re reason. I think that my mustache is a little bit of a pedo stash if I actually grow it out. And I don't grow it out very well, so I'd rather avoid it unless I have absolute reason to do so. Which is not often. I've considered the idea of like lasering like my facial hair off because all I do is shave it. I really don't utilize it very often. But like, I guess I could probably do with uh, like, if I don't laser it off, then like I could grow it for, out for like a cosplay or something that I'm doing. Once upon a time, I sported a chin beard and a soul patch. It was my cheered. And um, I, I, you know, people said they liked it, but like, I think they were just lying to me. Who knows? LOL. No, no, no. The Morbid Llama must stay away temptation. Stay away temptation. The temptation of the mustache. I can understand that. Yeah. I'm like, for a while, I was very, very tempted to try uh, facial hair of sorts, but it just, the, the, the most that I can grow out is my, my, like my, um, finding the words for it. What are the words? My, um, God. What do you call it on the side of the face? They're not mutton chops, there's a word for them. Sideburns, my sideburns are very, very patchy. My bearded area is very patchy. The only thing that's not so patchy is my chin, uh, but only the tip of my chin. Everywhere down my neck, also very patchy. And my mustache is patchy too. I think it only grows like, I think my, my stash only grows like here, which is why it has that little like almost, almost pedo stash nature of it. I'm not very comfortable with it. And I don't like who I look like in the mirror when I have it on. So I usually don't grow it out. There, I try to get as much of the facial hair off of my face as possible because I'm just like, I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it very much. I gotta go back down here. I don't know what I was doing up there. Oh, I found the, um, I found the badge. The badge is good. The badge is good. The badge is great. Badge. Bad. I said badge. That's what I said there. Whatever I may have said before, I corrected. In any case. So, I made a cocktail before. We know this. It was a maple a maple leaf sour with maple syrup instead of simple syrup and a whiskey sour. And I will say, I have both versions. Got one without an egg and one with an egg in it. It's supposed to just be an egg white, but I made a boo-boo. It's not the same without the egg. You really, I, and I, honestly, if you're doing, if you're making yourself a sour, do yourself a favor and put some egg in there. You really, I would really recommend it. So I think, off the topic of cocktails, back to the video game. I think I need to go talk to Dr. Frankly first. That's what I gotta do first. And then he takes me to the Thousand Year Door, or perhaps I just go straight to the Thousand Year Door. I don't exactly remember. Also, yo, I see you hanging up there on that roof. You see that guy up there? Can I, I can't I can't change my camera up there, but there's a dude on the roof. There's a dude on the roof up there, which I don't think I can access yet, so no worries. Just the lab? Hello, dude. Hi, bro. Take some shit from your trash can. You found a scrap of paper. Now you know about Vivian. It has been transferred. And I found stuff about Magnus. What about? What about? Nope. Nope, nope. Not yet. No. Not yet. Oh, so you managed to get the crystal star for probably a was without too much trouble. Well, I've learned several vital things, but first go to the thousand year door. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. I really appreciate you giving me this direction that I so desperately needed. To the thousand year door we go! And then we pop back up and like, pew, wow, look at that! That'd be crazy. Excellent. Um, I have to go the other way, don't I? I have to go the other way. Because I can't. I need Captain Bomb, dude, in order to go through that direction. But I can't yet. What new powers did I gain? I am now able to do. Nothing! And it's totally right! I can do nothing! And so the stream ends because I apparently can't stream either. Bye, everybody! Just kidding. Uh, oh. Oh, my. Ignore? It doesn't continue? Oh, did my game just crash? Oh. <laughs> apparently. Wow. <laughs> I went back to. I went to the break screen only for the game to crash. That's incredible. On the bright side, we save our progress, and we always save our progress because if we didn't, that'd be. That'd be dumb. Saving progress, because that's what we do. All right, dolphins. Why isn't dolphin on my desk? There's dolphin on my desktop. It's booting back up. Please excuse the small inconvenience while we get our shit together. A new different version of dolphins available. Oh, epic. Please remind me later. Is that why you interrupted the stream to tell me you have an update? 
that's what my internet did yesterday. I was working, I was working yesterday, and all of a sudden the internet just straight up died. I was very sad about that and very annoyed. But alas, that's how it be. Anyway, it should be popping back up on the screen. Tuh, there it is. Dolphin, I think you mean GameCube. Yes. What was I talking about? Dolphins? The hell is a dolphin? It's a GameCube. Original hardware. Yeah, it is. What are you talking about? All right. In any case, I'm actually glad that I saved. I really should say every time I see a save block, I should be saving. And I think I did that. And actually, I think I'm farther along than I was before. Okay, I am right before where I should have been. So, honestly, no harm, no foul. Official Nintendo hardware software. Absolutely. No, it's not. It's not. Yeah, it's Nintendo, not Nintendo. Although, to be honest, if I was trying to make a knockoff Nintendo name, Nintendo, that would be the one. What'd you say, dear? Did you say it slaps? Yeah. I agree. It does pretty. It does slap pretty hard. My goodness. Couldn't have seen a bit bigger slap myself. Um, hmm. Couldn't have seen a bigger slap myself. Ha! <laughs> ha! Anyways. You know what I've always really liked? The music to this game. Have I commented on that before? Like, the, the underground theme is just such a... Like, this is a song to, like, to walk to work to. Did I really go the wrong direction? Anyway. Oh, that was the wrong direction. And now that we've finally gone to where we're supposed to be going... Oh my god, wait, whoa! Whoa! I just found a hidden block and a hidden badge, and Anna's laughing hysterically for some reason, and I don't know why. Please share with me. I shared, Danny, don't you know, with one of my friends? Yeah. And they just texted me, and they're like, I can't, you, I'm, I'm broken, Anna. I can't stop listening to the song. Yo, Danny, Don't You Know by Ninja Sex Party is an absolutely amazing song. Listen to it if you feel like you're going somewhere wrong in your life, and you're between the ages of zero and 99. That's not me. It kind of is, though. Honestly, we've all got our problems. I'm open to talk about them, but you don't have to. This is a safe space if you feel like you want to. Share with me your problems. I am not a licensed physician. I have a master's in electrical engineering. I cannot help you. Not in that way, at least. But if you do have computer problems, did you try turning it off and on again? That'll work. Now, my little Mario, it's crystal star time. And by star time, I mean star time. Trademarked. That's a flurry original, you know. You can't fix my problems. You're right. But did you try turning it off and on again? I don't. I have faith. I don't know if that you actually turned it off and on again. You could try unplugging it, plugging it back in, replacing the batteries. If that doesn't work for you, then truly I can't fix your problems. Which you are, and you are right. You know what I can fix though? <laughs> Nothing. I can. <laughs> <laughs> if you can turn it off and on again. I don't know if you can do that with humans, though. <laughs> Your relationship having a problem? Turn it off and on again. Your life having problem? Turn it off and on again. Just turn off. Cardiac arrest. Turn back on. Zerp. Use a lot of electricity to turn yourself back on. Or turn yourself off and on again in a sexual sense. In which case... I don't know. What turns you off? <laughs> what turns me off? Um... No. Hmm, having a hard time thinking of that, which actually made that answer even worse. <laughs> what turns me off? Hmm, I can't think I can think of anything that turns me off. Oh, mercy me, the next crystal star has made an entrance, my, my, my. But, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't it up in the sky? What does that mean? It seems we're going to the Glitz Pit. That's up in the sky, you know. We have to take an airship up there. That means that beneath this town, the thousand-year-old ruins remain intact! Party with me, the professor! Oh goodness, and that door has been sealed shut for a thousand years by the crystal stars! In order to open that seal, we must- to, we have to muster the power of all the crystal stars! Perhaps I'm just daft, but why would they want to steal this treasure away at all? Did they fear the thieves and brigands? If not, then what? No, that's not! Hmm, that's not what. I 
don't know! I don't know! I'm screaming at you! Doesn't apply, says the morbid llama. I'm apparently a slut, lol. Found out you've got the clap. Oh no! Well, on the bright side, if you've got the claps, I've got crabs. I don't actually have crabs, although there might be some sort of fish in my fridge, which could be a close second. I like the crabs that I have, but I'm not sure if you'd like the clap that you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Incoming pun joke. It will fix your problem. Clap on. Clap off. Anyway, I'm moving on with that. Frankly, frankly, please. Quite frankly, that was a terrible pun. Why would you make fun of something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sexual puns are my favorite. I don't know that the treasure was sealed away around the time the town was destroyed. But the problem is no one's even sure what it was that caused the town's demise. All that's written is this. Darkness stole the sky and the cataclysm rained down. I must research this more, assuming we'll just make it... Well, you know the saying. It'll make a jerk out of me and my wife. <laughs> Honey, I think it's ass out of you and me. I... English is not my first language. Oh yes, how appropriate. In any case, what about the location of this crystal star that's floating on the map? Hmm, very interesting. Perhaps it's pointed to the floating town of Glitzville. I mean this with love. Bite me. Rawr. There's a stunning arena there where the Great Warriors engage in furious battles of biting each other. They literally don't use their fists or weapons. They just use their teeth. It's absolutely astounding, Mario. You have to go visit. Ostensibly, families go there on vacation to lounge and enjoy the fights, but uh, behind the scenes, the richest people in the world wager on the bouts. Gambling's illegal in Rogueport, too. And in Glitzpit. Glitzville. Glitz of, Glitz of whatever. A floating city, you say? So are we just supposed to sprout wings and fly there, darling, to tell? A special blimps flies there, departs from Rogue Point several times a day. The problem is getting a seat. The only way to get a ticket is through a certain... Chanel's. Chanel's? Chanel's. Don't you mean channels, frankly? English is not my first language! Oh, well, sounds exciting. A little on the seedy side. Show me the way. I don't know, but I guess we don't have much choice. What on the street is, if the kids are telling me the things correctly, that tickets go through Don Pianta on the west side. Head west from Rogort's main plaza and you'll find the west side of town. Thank you for pointing out the obvious, darling. That part of town is under the control of Don Pianta, the Pianta Syndicate head. We have a mafia in this town. Did somebody say Mario? Mafia. Mario. Mafia. Apparently, Don Pianta makes pretty regular jobs over to Glitzville. Hmm. I like the sound of this Don Pianta fellow. I cannot wait to meet him. It may sound easy, but he's a syndicate boss, folks. The rumors about him are scary. You could piss your pants just thinking about Don Pianta. I'm pissing my pants right now. That's because I'm old, though, and a mushroom. Let's not look too far into that. And Don Pianta is a recluse. Just getting an audience with him will be difficult. But, like, what if we do know? Oh, here's all this other stuff about Magnus and Vivian. Thank you. Well, it's time to make our way to the west side. Finally, I can find this girl's contact lens, but no worries. I can I can do this now, right? I need to find this chick's contact lens. That's what I gotta do first. Otherwise, I can't get to the west side of town. Also, now that I have, you know, after I get to the point where I can actually talk to the cook lady, then I can cook things and fill up my recipe book and reflux on camera. Don't worry about that. I'm just attempting to process the acid in my throat. Thank you, God. Let's save ourselves a little bit to save us from God's wrath yet again. Oh, Luigi! I heard you had a story for me. And they, oh, by the way, the only reason that I'm listening to Luigi is I never gave him the credit through any of my first playthroughs, and I'm genuinely curious about what he has to say. What's up, brother? Well, I went to Rumble Blood Volcano and got myself a marvelous compass piece. It was an incredible quest. There was danger and all sorts of it entering. It was pretty nuts, old bro. You want to hear about what happened? It's a pretty long story. Hey, it sounds good to me. Which part of my story you want to hear, bro? Rumble Bump Vol Volcano. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. 
As soon as my ship docked on the pudding continent, I set out for the volcano. And to reach my destination, I spent several days fording the new dense jungle. Scary beasts were all over. More than once, I thought I was done for, bro. I may have screamed a bit to scare them off, you know, but as fate would have it, a blooper named Bluey heard me shrieking and found me in this one town. That's the jackwad right next to me. You look on the left, he's a little suntan, but don't get, don't let that distract you. Bluey was on a journey of his own, but he joined me after hearing my tale, the tale that I'm telling you right now, where Bluey's actually in the story. Isn't it incredible? Now Bluey's a madman. Back in his hometown, they call him White Torpedo. Look at him right now. Does that look very white to you? I don't think so, Mario. Yeah, he's a tough guy. Anyway, he helped me fight the Rumble Bump Volcano. This place was all about bubbling lava pools and heat that'd make your son sweat. I'm telling you, straight up thousands, millions of degrees, Mario. You wouldn't believe your face, buns, and anything else that could be burned by high jet propulsions of plasma. And the place was lousy with evil traps designed to protect the compass piece. The scariest one of all was this gigantic hundred foot tall statue that stopped around. One eye, big bulky stone arms, and everything. Now, the weakness of this giant statue, bro, was a red gem on its forehead, right there, right in the middle, its third eye, I'm telling you, Mario. Kind of a red like your hat's wearing right now. Anyway, now I can jump high, but I'm not high enough to reach this thing by a long shot, so I came up with this plan for Bluey to hit that weak spot. Oh, you, man, I said. Go for it, Bluey. I waited for a pause. The statue's movements and hucked Bluey right up there, right into the, the big statue's red gem, and look at you. Bullseye, right in the middle. The white torpedo saved the day, Mario. That jewel got waxed. But look at Bluey now. It was a critical hit, and that stone statue toppled and crumbled to pieces. Once that was done, it was an easy stroll to the room where the treasure was. <laughs> Unfortunately, Princess Eclair was nowhere to be found. So I got another piece of the marvelous compass and put it in the base. Uh, now the compass pointed west to Plop Valley Village on the Strudel Continent. And uh, so I set sails once again and came back over Oakport to recharge. <laughs> That's what happened to me lately, but I'll be heading back out soon. Uh, did you get all that, Mario? If you want to hear what I've been up to, just come and find me, okay? I'll be around. I got plenty to tell you. So much to tell you, brother. I miss you. Okay, bye now. <laughs> Thanks, Luigi. <laughs> I appreciate it. Saving. Do not touch the memory card. There is no memory card, not unless I stick my hand into my CPU and touch all the hard drives in there. Which I can't do. It's very sealed right now. In any case. Wow. All right, what's written on the back of this board? I like that things change per chapter. It gives you so much more to explore. Here's a gra graffiti corner. Whatever happened to that squishy little puny guy? I miss him. <laughs> Toadette, the animal lover. I did not think that was Toadette. I would have had no idea. Hey, you, Miss Tasty. Tasty Mushroom. No! Look, I'm not letting you get into Westport Tunnel Town until you buy me a new lens. Sorry, the end of the story. I can't cook anything without my contact lenses, but I will not let you pass. Ah. My rage is so hot right now. I could cook you with it. I'd do it. If I weren't attached to this particular interplanar space, you wouldn't understand, Mario. You would not understand. Nobody knows the trouble I've been through. All right, well, there are more areas that I can go in town now. I can't exactly remember where they are, but I know the contact lens is around here th somewhere. Pretty sure it might be up on top of uh, one of the one of the roofs up here. Might have to do a little exploring. Yes, my dearest! What's up, girl? Cool Patrol's no longer on Spotify. Cool Patrol's not on Spotify? Yeah. The What's wrong with that? Wait, what? Yeah. The the, so, the the album Cool Patrol is not on yeah, Spotify? Yeah, because I was talking to my friend what about, you talking about Danny, don't you know? Cool Patrol and on Spotify? On no, what? It's, what are you talking it's about? It's like grayed out. I can't access it. Oh my god. Danny, don't you know the single is also grayed out? Oh my god. That's like half of my like songs. I don't know what happened, everybody, but for all the Ninja Sex Party fans out there, for some reason, Cool Patrol, the entire album is grayed out on Spotify. It is not there right now. You also can't get the single Danny, don't you know? And there's a couple other songs that I have. I was wondering, you know, because I was playing some songs today and one of the Ninja Sex Party songs just didn't work. And I was like, oh, that's weird. All right, so like they're just being weird. Wow. That's not okay. That's really disappointing. Anna loves those songs. Well, that's kind of sad. My heart is dying. Now. Well, I hope everything's going okay with uh, Ninja Sex Party out there because that seems like a problem to me. I mean, it's just a couple small things. But, like, no, no, no. That's a big album, my dear. I love that album. That's like most of my like songs by them. So now listen here. This is a huge secret. 
but I gotta get it out there. I'm a wanted Goomba. I was a thief in another town up until about three months ago. Yeah, good one. But then the heat came down and I needed to hide out, so I came a rogue port. Now that I told you, you gotta keep it a secret, okay? <laughs> I'm so cool. I'm the coolest. Wait, come back here. Tell me how cool I am. Bro, bro, come back here. Wait. Man, yesterday I flipped through 300 coins at the parlor. You believe that? But next time, I'm gonna win. Just mark my words, man. I got a system now. I am gonna keep trying. Forever. Hey, do you got a contact lens I can buy from you? You got some kind of problem? You think you could just barge into my hideout, buddy? You're probably just jealous. No one's snooping around. It's the perfect hideout spot. With all this garbage, there are tons of flies and stuff. Who'd want to come in here? Except for this little nose thing there. And the star piece. So thanks for um, thanks for giving me your, your treasure. Appreciate your treasure there. I remember thinking that this crevice in the wall was something I can go through if I walk close enough to it. And I was disappointed to find that you cannot. It was a sad, sad tale. And I tell it to you. A cautionary tale. Don't slip into crevices that where you don't know where they lead, I guess. I don't know. Let's find a contact lens, though. I think you gotta talk to one of the guys behind these, um... Behind these buildings. Is it you? I think you're the one who leads me to Twilight Town. Hehe! <laughs> I'm pulling another card trick today and making tons of loot! But somebody started tailing me, so I came here to hide out for a while. Don't tell anyone you saw me here, or I'll conk you! I don't want to know what conking means. Oh, you're the person who gets me and tells me how to get to Twilight Town. Hey, my name is Darkly. I like dim places, yeah? I think in my past life I was mold or a potato bug or something. Yeah, pretty neat, yeah? You know what? It's, it's neat, because I just love places that are dark and moist. Do you happen to know any? <clears throat> Dom started smoking from a nap. What drink did you make? So, actually, this is a fun one. So, the drink we made tonight was what I'm calling the maple leaf sour. It's a whiskey sour, but with maple syrup and Canadian whiskey, if you do it with an egg, it tastes better than without an egg. And even if you add a little bit of egg yolk, because you made a mistake, it tastes really, really good. Definitely a win this evening. I hope your nap was pleasant. I know Dom's been hard at work recently. Oh, I forgot. I can do my ground pound now. Forgot about that. Also, why can't I bounce up here? Can I not bounce? I thought this was a... I could jump on the ceilings over here. Nah. No. Sort of got COVID. No way! Is it your first time? I only ask because I've had COVID before and I feel like I've had some scares of having it a couple more times since then. But uh, we're all good. We try to keep ourselves safe around here. But uh, that's... Wow. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Man, I'm really sorry to hear that. Hopefully you're resting up well. If your symptoms were anything like mine, then you were probably really, really exhausted and basically unable to do anything but sleep. That's kind of how my experience went. I was so exhausted. And you know what's funny? The day that I realized I had COVID, I, uh, Anna and I both had COVID, actually. The day that we realized it, we were actually, um, we were, um, oh my god. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. We actually streamed that day. I think we played Soul Worker that day. And afterwards, we were like, man, we're really, really tired. And she went in for a COVID test, which they were doing routinely because she was in classes at the time going to Drexel's campus during, like, the peak of the pandemic. And they're like, yeah, you got COVID. Guess you're not coming into class. And I was like, oh shit, maybe I should see if I had COVID. And then I went and checked and I had COVID as well. Lo and behold. Oh, I forgot, this place is open now. Hey, this is your first time at the Trouble Center? If you plan on using our services, I, uh, I can explain them to you for you first. You need uh, an explanation? Please, I forgot. And listen, listen good. This Trouble Center is where people come with troubles. That's why it's named that, Trouble Center. If you want to see what kind of troubles people have, check that bulletin board over there. You know, if you're a nice guy, you'll choose someone to try to help him out. If not, well, help someone out. They'll give you a reward, probably. Not a bad deal, huh? Yeah. But remember, if you decide not to solve a trouble, you have to pay to cancel. It's unfortunate. You got that? Well, good. Then go, help, go help someone out. Do your good deed, you good Samaritan. You look like a good Samaritan. Oh my goodness, look at all these good good things. No thanks, that's fine. Domstar finished work and tried sleeping and was freezing the whole time, and his body was sore, and then he left the room after five hours of no sleeping. Had your aunt see if it was fe if they were feverish, and she said, "Yep, you definitely are." And now COVID. And that's the story. Yeah. So we took a home COVID test, and it came back positive. Just just out of curiosity, I think you if you have an extra test on you, if you really want to be sure that you have it, you could try to take two just in case it's a false positive. But if you feel like shit and you're convinced, then you're probably free to stay home. Just take a picture of that that po that positive test and be like, "Sorry guys, can't come in. I can't do it." I definitely have it. And that's good enough for me. You've convinced me. 
Honestly, you don't need to convince me. Convince yourself. Take her, take a load off. Take some rest. You deserve it. Hardworking people deserve some hard work and rest. I, for the one, for one, take off mental health days every once in a while because I would consider myself a very hardworking individual. Sometimes, sometimes too much so. I could definitely be working less hard, but alas. It was either I got regular flu or COVID, and that was it. Well, on the bright side, on the bright side, it's COVID. On the downside, it's COVID. I don't know. Depends on what your bright side may be. All right, y'all sell contact lenses. I can't remember how to. Oh, yo, what's up, Mouse? What's up, Mouse? Young Megum, feel free to look around. Oh, you're definitely the mouse that I think you are. A big welcome to you. Welcome to the lovely house of badges. Welcome. So, what can I do for you? I'm buying. What kind of badges is this to you? Special deals. If you're looking for a special deals, you'll find them on that shelf right over there. Otherwise, stand in front of the badge you want and press. Ah! Ah! Power rush? Any of these things? How much coin do I have? 75 coin. Last stand P for my partner. Super appeal? Get more star power on Mario appeals. That could be advantageous in the long run. Shlepy stomp? Power rush? Increase pack tower by two when Mario's in danger. I like both of those. Give me the appeal. It's a banana badge. It's appealing. It's funny. I need one PP to do words. Is that okay? It's fine, dog. Thanks, dude. Do you have a point system? I forget. I don't think you do. Big welcome. Uh, I'm selling? I can sell badges? Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, are the green ones one that I... Can I sell that? I'll pay 37 for your multi bounce. Okay, no, 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 that's, that's fine. I'm not gonna sell anything to you. I'm a badge hoarder. I would never sell badges to you unless I was really, really, like, dying for some cash, you know? Oh my goodness. Look at the milkers on that fella. My goodness, right? It's a busty ass cloud. <laughs> or bust, busty, busty not so ass cloud. It's very, it's very much in the front, I would say. Yes. All right, where's this contact lens? I know there was a contact lens. I just can't remember how to find it. Um. Hmm. What was the, what was the deal with that? Maybe I needed to talk to somebody. Who's got contact lenses? Who can I go about contact? I know. The Pianta dude is in one of these locations. We gotta talk to them. I honestly can't remember who I'm supposed to go to. Hey, bro, what are you doing? Hey, yo, Mario. Wow, this is so cool. I never thought I'd meet a celebrity out here. Yes, dearest. What's up, dear? Three minutes to ecstasy? Oh. That sounds so weird. Dude, I love how the, so there are so many songs by Ninja Sex Party that are not up on Spotify right now. It's very really disappointing. Sorry, I'm disrupting your No, it's okay. I want to know about the news of Ninja Sex Party. They're having a show here in Philadelphia on the 27th. I might be there. Could be cool. Dom on the bright side still has his taste and smell, which is nice. Hopefully, you don't lose those in the next week or so. I know Anna and I didn't lose our smell, but a lot of people that I know did. Ah, this is super cool. I thought I'd meet a celebrity. I thought I'd... I never thought I'd meet a celebrity out here. Oh, I know. Do you want to make an investment, Mario? Tilts my head. My name's Lumpy, and I'm heading out to dry, dry desert to prospect for oil. But I've lived my life hoping to get rich quick, and now my chance has come. But I still don't have enough startup funds. Could you please lend me some money? I'm accepting initial investments of 100 coins or more. I don't have money. I spent it all on badge. Fine, we'll never be that way. Jeez. That's fine. You definitely weren't trying to scam me or anything like that. Certainly not. All right. Would anybody out here like to tell me something about contact lenses? Save all game progress? Sure. Maybe I could talk to Frankly. I could also talk to uh, Goombella. She might be able to tell me what's going on here. And I have a feeling too, I don't remember whether or not like... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe my ground pound ability will come in handy. What can I use that for? There might be areas around town. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Ground pound at the noose? Come on, noose. Happy noose. Sad noose. Very sad noose. What if I look inside? Dom did notice, though, that his appetite has gotten significantly reduced. Yeah. I don't remember being that hungry either, to be honest. I just remember being super duper exhausted and not wanting to eat food, like, at all. And honestly, it wasn't until like a day, I had it a lot worse than Anna did. She was a lot more active, like a lot quicker than I was. Uh, but I was like, I was completely out of it. Like for at least a good couple days. It was very sad. No, look, I'm not letting you get into the west part of town until you buy me new lenses. Sorry, but end of the story. I can't cook with anything without my contact lenses in. Ah! Okay. 
I honestly forget where to buy your contact lenses. Bro, you got lenses? Yeah, yeah, yo. I got all the hottest two products right here. Move no further. You got the fever look of a man with a man for good. You wanna buy something? Sell contact lenses? No? Oh, sorry. What? No more shopping? Sorry to hear that, my man. This is limited to time off. And chase the goods I offer from time to time. Come back soon, all right? All right. Thanks, man. Bye-bye. All right. Wait, nobody else buys from me, so pressure's on, bro. Pressure is on. Maybe I can talk to somebody at the bar. I like... Every once in a while, I run into these points where I genuinely have no idea what's going on, and it's been a hot minute, so... Can't go in there. Nah, that's where the bandit was. You were a shady little Goombo guy. Goombo Lumbo Gumbo. I could try to look for areas around the city that I can blow into. Because I have Ground Pound now, and I also have Blow Ability. Hmm. And I don't remember where that might have been. I could talk to the Shine Sprite person, but I'm not really interested in that right now. Let's talk to Frankly again. Do you know anything about contact lenses, sir? Where'd you get a blip token from, Dot Piata? On the west side, you can go to Glitzville. Thanks, dude. Not helpful. But that's fine. I can... Go in here. Did I go in here yet? It's locked. It's locked. Can't do this yet. It's locked. Still can't open it. You know anything about contact lenses? Hey, serious turn for the ish nail of the Robo Band of Thieves. The boss is usually hiding out in the back alley that, pe that few people can spot. The boss is hanging in the back alley. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I talked to the boss. That's what I gotta do. I gotta talk to the boss, man. Talk to the boss, man. I just ran into the wrong door. Or I didn't go in any door at all. Hi there. I didn't go to this door. You're not Don Pianta, but you are a boss. You sell contact lenses? You want something, chump? Is the fortress of the Robo Thieves. You lost? What business brings a chump like you to this place? Say it again. Say it in vacation. I want a contact lens. What's that? You want to meet that lying, cheating, stealing, no good, jerking for brains, Don Piata? Real thieves like us. And the poor as dirt. Never catching a break because that guy. Did you come here knowing all that? Yeah. And you know that stum scumbag demands protection money from us too? Yeah? You know all that? And you still want us to tell you how you can meet that crumb? Yeah. Oh, fine, Mr. Insensitive Jerk. It'll cost you 64 coins. No budget on the price on a single coin. Inside info is pricey. Them's the bricks. Forget you, pal. What? Oh, fine. I get it. Don't want to pay, huh? Huh? Fine. No pay? No way, I say. Come back when you're ready to stop being a cheapskate. Um, listen, man. Why are you gonna talking to me like something happened? There's no, there's no lumping. Oh, it was the guy I beat up before. I guess I need some money. I guess... Listen, man. I'm in a tight spot. I might have to sell those badges that I just bought. You know? In a tight spot, dude. Can you walk out of the way, bro? Bro, get out of the way. I think I gotta sell those badges. I got I got no choice. I gotta I need info. Need info from the guy. Alright, man. I didn't want to do this, but I'm gonna have to sell my prized possessions. My badges that I don't yet have equipped and honestly wasn't that attached to so far. And realizing that the money could probably be spent on better things like like donations and charities and protests for good causes. But uh not me, dude. Not me. Alright. We're gonna sell my badges. Sell, sell, sell. That's what I gotta do. Big welcome to you! Whatever you wanna do, you wanna sell it? Then I wanna sell something. What you wanna sell? Uh, what gets me what I think? When Mario is attacked, causes him times to sometimes miss. I don't want the happy heart pee. I'll pay 70 coins for your happy heart pee, okay? Thanks. Thank you so very much! Are there any other badges you wanna sell? No. Come again! I was honestly very, very saddened about the fact that I had to be detached from that one. Oh no, a badge that I have never used and don't intend on using. Goodness me. I certainly don't need that. Let's save. It's been a hot minute, hasn't it? Do not touch that card. If you touch that card in slot A, I don't know what I'll do. I'll scream. I won't scream. I will not scream. Alright, peon not so vinesimo. You're not- you're not the right guy. You're not the right guy. I don't even know what the snail dude's name is. I wish I knew what his name was. He's the- he's the, um... Oh, he's the leader of the ish snails. Like snails? It likes the snail-ish. But it's the other way around. Right? You're kind of snail-ish, right? Right, bro? What? You gotta be kidding me. Am I hearing you right? I could have sworn you said. You really want me to tell you how to meet Don Pianta, the scum of the earth. Fine, Mr. Insensitive says it's a jerk, but it'll call you 64 coins and no budget on the price. Not a single coin. And so, in so inside, info is price here, man. Them's the breaks. Okay. Y you'll pay? Really? Uh, 
Yeah, you heard me. Yes! Oh, I mean, yeah, good call. You're a shrewd businessman. It's like the recording's on this. Okay, then, clean those ears out and listen here. There's a parlor in the west part of town that's run by that worm, Don Pianta. Go to the store next to the parlor, buy a dried shroom and a dizzy dial. Make sure you buy them in that order. Dried shroom, dizzy dial. You got that? You do that, the shopkeeper's gonna ask you what your favorite color is. You answer, yellow. You got that? Not green. Not blue. Yellow. You hear me? See, yellow is the password for getting into Don's scumbag's oh-so-comfy office. You got all that? Yeah. Alright, dude, but like, but like, do you got a contact lens or something? Because like, that's what I'm really hankering for. Contact lens, bro. Contact lens. Maybe I can find it down, down in the depths. I know there was an easy answer for this. Oh, me? My means here. I'm what's technically called a completely awesome thief. I used to work as a geologist researching the rocks in the town, but it paid nothing. That's when Ishnail, the boss of Rabos, picked me up. I've since washed my hands of geology, and now I'm an amazing thief. Ha-ha! <laughs> what have you stolen? Have you stolen anything of use? No? <laughs> Excellent! Actually, could I? I don't know. I have a feeling. Maybe I can... No, I can't. Does blowing things help in this town? Could I blow anything in this town that would help me make some more progress? Honestly, it wouldn't be a stream like this unless we at least run around in circles a couple times, you know? Alright, what else we got? Cross this bridge. It's locked. I need a key. Where to find the key? Where to find the key? Do you have a key? So I've been thinking, and I think I want to meet the robot boss just once. Thing is, I have no idea where the thieves' hideout is located, none. Rumor has it there's a secret passageway around here, but where could someone fit? I don't know. And I'm not going to tell you even if I did know. Contact lens? Running around in circles are the best parts of streams. Honestly, because it really gives us a chance to, like, get to know each other, you know? Tell me more about your life. I will tell you infinitely more things about mine. What was I going through this week? So far, this week has been kind of sucky. I've been working from home for the most part. I finally got the pest control guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's pretty. That's pretty convenient. The pest controls guys finally came in. He put a couple of traps up. He put some... Um, copper netting up? That was pretty convenient. Um, uh, supposedly copper, uh, copper netting is something that they can't chew through, so. And he put a bunch of industrial strength poison. The dude who came by decided to tell me that about less than a teaspoon of this stuff could shut down all of my vital organs if I ingested it. Cool hot bit of knowledge. And he's like, imagine what it'll do to the mice. And I was like, I can only imagine. Not the traps, man. The poison. The poison. Poison for Cusco. Poison. Poison's made specifically for Cusco. Cusco the mouse, you know, Cusco's mouse poison. I don't do a very good crunk, but we try, I try my best. Can I crack some things around here? Anybody? Are they green blocks? No, they're not green blocks. Oh, no, 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 no. It's like a powder. It was like a powder that he sprayed into the crevices. Or red. Neither. Actually, if it, I might have seen a little bit of it, and if it is, then it's like a shiny white powder. You know that it's a good poison when it's, when it looks indistinguishable from just like sugar or something, like cocaine. You can tell it's good cocaine if it looks like sugar. I think, maybe. Not sure, honestly. That's not working. Very interesting. Yeah, he was saying. Excuse me. The guy, the pest control dude. Another star piece. Cool. Was saying that supposedly that's the good stuff. I don't know how he knows it's the good stuff, but it's the good stuff. Couldn't tell you about coke. Neither could I. I can tell you about coke. You still contact lenses? Welcome, yes, welcome to the Toad Bros Bazaar. Eh, what's that? You want a contact lens, you say? Hey, wait just a moment. Contact lenses. Gee, fellow, we're sorry, but we don't have any stock right now. Tough luck, I know. Uh, I could special order one for you right away, but it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? Hi there. I want... A CONTACT LENS! Yeah, it's a fine. I'll go take a- I'll just still take a rest in the bed. That'll do it. What's a while in this game? Running around like a moron? No, silly resting in the bed! That's what it's a while. It'll allow me to sleep until the next- Oh, but I need money for that. Welcome to the Lone Refuge in this port of filth, isn't it? Filth, 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 filth. Our belts will save your soul. It only costs five coins to spend the night. Would you care for a bed? How about two? Just kidding, I'm sleeping with this one. Wink. Oh, looks like you have an ink coupon. Would you like to use it? Yes. Why do you need a contact lens? Because there's a bitchy toad who won't let me pass without a contact lens, because supposedly I stepped on the first one. 
Mario is a bad boy. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, dude. I'm sleeping with the busty one tonight. Don't tell her I mentioned it. It's actually very nice. Very comfortable. The bed, I mean, is comfortable. Did you sleep well? Of course you did. Why would I ask? Jealous much? I am. Now you're ready to get out there and face the world. See you again soon. At least I hope I do. Myra, that guy was kind of a creep, don't you think? Uh, I know, I know. A little weird. What's so weird about two partners sleeping in the same bed together? It's not romantic. Doesn't need to be weird. You're just making it weird. Societal norms are making this weird. Stop making it weird, y'all. Saving. You got contact lenses now. Was that all it took? Just a little sleep? Just a little sleepy-do? sleepy by? Got my lens? Give me my lens, bro! I feel sorry, but your contact lens hasn't arrived quite yet. I feel terrible about this, but you'll have to wait a little longer. <laughs> Domstar exclaims that Flurry looks like she'll make you sleep on her chest between her boob because she knows it's comfortable. That or you'd fall right through it and you'd be like... I expected that from a cloud. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're very angry. I understand that. Who can I talk to to pass the time by? What do you do when you're trying to waste time? Sleep. That's one option. Go talk to your insane uncle who claims to know about science but is actually some whacked up treasure hunter. That's one way to pass the time by, I guess. Hey, Gramps, buddy. Know anything about contact lenses? No. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I can pass the test others some other time. That's fine. Pass the time by. All right. Passing the time going by. What can I do? I'm gonna go into the sewer and explore a bit. Cause that's all I can do. There's probably something cool in the sewers if you try hard enough. If we find it, which we can't. Or maybe we will. Who knows, really? I don't know. You know. You don't know anything. You're dumb. Just kidding. Hey, dude, tell me about the world. No, actually, I'm not interested in you. Who's the star piece guy? Why is his uncle a Goomba, but Mario is a human? Honestly, we have had stranger questions posed to science, and yet we don't have an answer for this one either. My name's Dazzle. I trade my badges for any star pieces you have. I'll do it! Which badge do you want to trade for? I want the good one. Give me the good badge. Give me, give me. Power plus. Hell yeah. I'll trade power plus for a sweet, sweet star piece instead of 15 sound. You need six PP to wear this badge. Okay, guy? Are you sure you want it? Yeah, dude. <laughs> yes! Thank you, my guy. My star piece collection is even bigger now. Yes! Maybe we can trade again sometime, yeah? Maybe we can. Yo, I feel like I literally just saw you. I'm dazzled. I'll trade my badges for any star pieces that you have. Which badge do you want? I want this one. I trade attack FXY for sweet, sweet star pieces. That is one sound. You need no BP at all to wear this badge. Okay, guy? Are you sure you want it? Yeah. Yes! That's amazing. Thanks to you, my guy. My star piece collection is even bigger now. Maybe we could trade again. You will trade again, won't you? I forget what happens when you put both of these effects badges on at the same time. Let's do it. One. Two. Oh, it just oscillates between the two. Honestly. Nah, I'm gonna go for it. Honestly, I I was gonna think, maybe I don't want to do this because I honestly hate the both of those sounds and it takes away from the experience of the game. But you know what? Why not? A constantly annoying reminder of my clout. My clout being, look at the money I just spent. Look at the stars, star points that I just did. Yeah, <laughs> I spent it on sound effects. And I think that's worth something, honestly. It's my clout. It's an exp it's a it's a representation of my clout. My clout is a is a distinguished Mario player. That's that's what it is. That's what it'll forever be. Perhaps there are more things that I can jump into. Can I I can do this. I can get through that pipe now. Oh, but I can can't get up there unless I have the bomber dude, which I don't have that bomber dude yet. And I also need the ability to go up these pipes, which I'm not able to do just yet. That takes me to Pedalberg. I don't want to go to Pedalberg just yet. Sounds like something Logan Paul would say. Oh, my clout. Expressing the, the expressing the the extent of my clout. Ugh, I don't like that. Maybe I shouldn't be so Logan Paul-y. But Logan Paul made it big on the internet, so maybe if I just talk about my clout all the time, that'll do it for me too. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. We'll see how that we'll, we'll see how that works out for me. 
into the building. Oh, I forgot about you. Tell me more. Hello, welcome. I'm Merrily. Underground, cute as can be. I'm a fortune teller, that is me. Lucky for you, coming here. I tell fortunes, have no fear. Let my mystic power tell of days to come. More as well, for luck sits on my spells. What do you say, Mr. Guy? Want to give it a try? Yeah! <laughs> that's good, that's great. Choose your path to fate. Which path do you choose? The cheap one. Okay, that's fine by me. So ready? Ready for me? Okay, here we go. I enter you into this box. Oh no, it's not a fox. I think that's how you pronounce F-A-U-X. It's definitely fox, right? Has to be fox? It's not foe? Of course not. Pow. My mystic power can make you smile. In battle, you'll win with style. Even if nasty foes arrive, you'll be fine since my fortune will thrive. Okay, come again. See you soon. See you then. Goodbye! That was wonderful. Can I blow your curtains away? I wonder, I, I never tried that. Can I blow your curtains away? Here, blow your curtains away. What's behind the curtain? Nothing, it seems. Just, just more. That's, that's where we keep the incense. That, that's where they keep the incense at. That, that's what's behind curtain number one, two, three, and four. There might've been four curtains there. Perhaps I miscounted. Honestly, I don't know. You tell me, I'm the one drinking. All right. So nothing in there, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. We have to do a little bit of exploring before we can do anything else. I think, I don't know if there was anything else that I needed to explore down here though. It'll help me out at all. Guess she ain't Oz. No, she doesn't exist behind the curtain. There's nothing behind the curtain, just incense, unless she is a being of pure incense embodying. I don't know, probably not though. All right, well, this was where, what was in here? I'm just reminding myself of what is down here. Okay, that's the spiky room, but I can't do that just yet because I don't yet have Vivian. I need Vivian's power to be able to do that. That will bring me down. I can't go this way because I don't have a powerful enough, I don't have a powerful enough uh, badge yet. Can't break that either. So I'm gonna have to wait. I think I might get that up in the glitz pit. Don't recall. So let's try down here and see what we can find. <laughs> and if there's nothing to find, that's fine. That's whatever, dude. Anything behind here? I found plenty of star pieces and I, I didn't realize I forgot that just like in Super Mario RPG, there's just a bunch of random badges you can find if you just like bounce around, which is awesome. I mean, it's painstaking if you're trying to get everything and you're like, where the hell is everything? I literally looked in every single corner, but you forgot to jump, in which case a little bothersome. But like, honestly, I think it adds some merit. Eventually, eventually, I really, really want to play Super Mario RPG at some point, And I'm honestly inclined, maybe this will be, maybe that'll be what I play after this playthrough. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to do like... I don't want to be like a serial like Nintendo killer. I'm just playing a bunch of Nintendo games nonstop, but like they're like classic games, some of which I've never gotten a chance to play completely. I actually haven't had a chance to get through Super Mario RPG completely. I think I watched my younger brother play that. It's an awesome looking game. It's great. And the soundtrack, amazing. And dude, Gino? If you're familiar with Super Mario RPG, Gino World, my guy. Gino World. That's all I got to say about that. All right, let me see what I can find over there. Sings! You do, man. I'll watch. Oh, well, I hope so. Wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be quite the same without the lovelies out there. The party goers? The party peoples? The party... The regulars. The party regulars. I like that. Alright, let's see what's over on this door over here. Come on now. Come on over there. I know there was a shine sprite up there, and I'm pretty sure I already got it, but what lies behind? Door number two! Oh, right. It's the pit of a hundred trials, right? Danger, do not enter. This pipe is the entrance to the pit of a hundred trials. First attack, bump attack badges don't work here. So beware. I am not ready for that. But damn, look at that, a star piece. Now I remember where the pit of a thousand trials is. That could very well be like an end game thing that I do. I would love to. I would love to take the attack because I've never, I've never completed the pit of a hundred trials, never. Not even in any of the playthroughs that I've done previously. I have never been able to do it. All right. Um, I'm actually going to switch with Fruver Bella because I need a little advice on what I'm supposed to do next. 
And this is the site of the famed Thousand Year Door. The air ripples with power. Behind that door sleeps the treasure that every rogue in Rogue Port whispers about. I also read this was this was where the palace at the center of the ancient town was. Just a little fun fact there. Well, what you read is probably right or wrong. Who knows, really? All right, but there, but there wasn't anything down here. All right, then. Well, what else can you waste your time doing, I guess, while you wait for things? Maybe you have to buy something at the shop? There wasn't anything else on the other locations, right? Damn, no more big booby mama ghost types. When we need her, she will return. But I don't need her just yet. I guess I could. I think... Do I go back to Petalburg? I don't think I do. I don't need to go all the way back to Petalburg, do I? That's where Bowser was previously. I don't know. What do you do to waste time in this game? I forget. Ugh. All right, well, I'm sure it's something perfectly obvious that I'm just completely missing here. But alas, we must keep conventuring. More fun times with Cameron and I. I is you. I I am Cameron. That is me. That is my name. That's what my parents named me. I was almost named Devin. Fun fact. I was almost named Devin. I don't really like the name Devin. I, I, knew, a, I knew a kid in middle school named Devil, Devin that I didn't really like. I, I, I can't really remember why I didn't like him, but like, I just like, you know, like as, a, as time passes, it heals some wounds and I don't remember why I didn't like him, but like, I just, I didn't like him. I, I don't exactly remember why, which honestly doesn't give a lot of credit to, to, to Devin, but I'm sure Devin was just fine. I also met a Devin in, in college. Uh, I, I don't think, I don't know where Devin's at now. That's okay. I got keys. I got keys. I got keys. 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 Falling up. Da -da -da -da. Nope. Hey, frankly, can you waste my time? Waste my time? Waste my time? Waste my time? No. Not wasting my time. No time wasted over here. I gotta wait a little bit longer, and I want to think it definitely isn't just sleeping in the inn again. Well, it might be. Maybe. What else can I do to, to pass the time by? I can listen to somebody telling a story, right? Right? Or maybe I just come back now. Do I have to buy something? Oh, hi! Okay. Hey, valued customer, your contact lens is in. Please drop by our shop. Huh. Contact lens. Ten. I need ten. You want it? Yeah, I do. Thanks, fella. <laughs> Screw that. Dom says that both of his parents before meeting wanted to name their first son Dominic, so you never really had an alternate name. I think, I remember asking my parents about it and they were saying they wanted to name their children something that couldn't easily be made fun of. And I, I can't think of an easy way to make fun of Cameron, I guess. There's no like puns that you can make off of it that make it very like easily like offensive or otherwise. Not that I can think of, but um, I'm sure somebody will find it. Somebody have found ways out there. My last name is Calv. And it's the first part of calves, like young cows. So there's a joke about udders to be had there. Did you bring me my contact lenses, Mr. Squishy? Mr. Squishy? Listen, girl, don't be making comments like that about my nose. A contact lens. Oh, sweet relief. Thank you. Finally, the world is crisp and clear again. I can see. Oh, I'm so happy. Thanks. Be careful from now on. People don't generally like having their stuff stomped on. Mr. Squishy. Miss, I want to have a word with you. I want to make some sweet, sweet treats. I have honey syrup and a mushroom. What can I get with that? Tell me things to, to make. Oh, so it's you again, huh? Mr. Stop-a-lot? Well, my name is Zesty. I may not look like a chef, but I'm actually quite good. If you bring me ingredients and my cooking skills burst to life and culinary magic happens. Want me to whip something up for you right now? Yes, please. What ingredients would you like me to cook with? Mushroom. Okay, I'll cook up your mushroom. I'm gonna mix these up for you, so just wait a sec. Now, we can only cook with one ingredient right now, but later, we'll be able to cook with multiple. Uh, I think there comes a point where I think you can buy the recipe book, or you make enough recipes, and then you're able to do that. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm not entirely sure you'd like this, but go on. Take it, Stompy. I got shroom fry. Anytime you feel like it, feel free to bring you some stuff to cook with, okay? Cook with honey syrup. Do it. Honey shrimp. Okay, I'll cook up your honey syrup. I'm gonna mix these up for you. Just wait a sec. 
I love cooking. Doodly 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 do. A scooby dooby 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 Straight up fire this one was. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm not entirely sure you'll like this. Here you go. Take it, Stompy. Juice. <laughs> I got the juice. You gotta give me the juice, girl. You gotta give me the juice. Thank you for giving me the juice. Mario likes the juice. Mario appreciates a nice juicing. Anyways. Anyway, welcome to the west side of town. You can tell it's the west side because you went to the left. That's the west side, I suppose. Alright, I need money. Hey, bro. Uh, you got any money? Can I sell things? Can't blow that shit up yet to the sky high. Alright, uh, yeah. Dried shroom is two. Dizzy dial is that. Need 14. Need 14 coin? I do not have coin. Can I sell things to you? Hey there, cutie. Welcome to West Side Goods. What can I do for you? I'd like to sell things. What do you want to sell? Um, this is not enough. No, 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 no. I don't want you to... No, 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 no. No, you can't have my items. You can't. Weast! Yes, it's the weast side of town. Thank you for pointing that out. What can I buy? I need to sell things. I need money. And the best way to get money is to gamble. Everybody knows that. Hey, dude. What's up? The boss told me to look after this place. You gotta do anything funny, I toss you like that. I'll do it. You know I will. Don't cross me twice then, man. I'm looking at you. Hey, everybody. Hi. What can I... Hi there. You gamble? Psst. This place is run by Don Bianca. You can play fun games in here. And win Bianca tokens to redeem for prizes. Yeah. Play to win. Get those prizes. Thanks, dude. That makes sense to me. I love checking my scores on this machine after playing games. I'm here all day. I literally never leave. Never. What? My family is worried about me? <laughs> don't be silly. They don't mind. I don't have a family. They're all so independent. They're happy as doing their own things. Just like what I'm doing. My own things. So stop bothering me. This is the scoreboard. There's a score to check. I don't have the scoreboard. I don't want to check my scores. What's up, dude? Hey, how you doing? Uh, what? Me? I'm on top of the world, baby. And then, what's up now? You want to know how to get a Nevers card, do you? Well, hmm, well, let's see. Maybe if you help someone in trouble, they'll give it to you. I don't know, man. Let's play a game. Oh, I need tokens. I got no Piantas. Why not? Why not what? Why not, Zoidberg? <laughs> Reminds me of the Lotus Motel from Percy Jackson. I don't, I've never read through that book series, nor did I watch all the movies. I am the Beyond the Changer changing machine. I'm called Beyond the Changer. Exchange one Pianta for three coins. Want to exchange? I have no money. Thank you very much. Come again. Okay, dude. Um, welcome to the parlor. Hey, 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 you're Mario, like the one and only. I know all about you. Rescuing Princess Peach is important work, but even heroes need relaxation. So what can I show you? You can trade in the piantas you've won for prizes, and some of our prizes can't be found anywhere else. I don't... <sighs> but I bought Super Repeal. I didn't sell it, right? Refund? We found some coins if you use an item in battle. That's pretty good. The series is so good. I have a variety of things on my watch list. The next thing on my list to watch is Young Justice. Oh, that's too bad. Come back if you decide to trade in for something. Seriously, though, Percy Jackson is an excellent series. You should watch that. Thanks, Ghost Lady. Appreciate it. Anybody got money? I'm gonna go find money. Money in the... Where? Where do you find money in this cheap town? Is there a save point over here? Save point? Hey, you! Talk to me! Ah, how refreshing. This is my favorite place. It's the only peaceful area in all of Roadport. Do you see how gentrified it is? That's what makes it peaceful. Dude, come on. Who lives here? Hello? Hi there, child! What's up, dude? My mom just plays games all day long! I'm worried about her, but she won't believe me if I told you. She doesn't have a job. She never cleans. She's terrible. I miss my mom. <laughs> I miss my mommy! I miss my mom! Ah, my wife spends all day in the parlor, so I never get anywhere on my novel. And I can't concentrate with my stupid ass kid downstairs, so crying all the time. Dad, I can hear you yelling! 
What did I say? I wish I had fun too. I want to go to Glitzville and see the machines. The matches. I just want to watch people beat each other up. I want to vicariously get out my anger. Anyone want to hear about my book? Sir, get off of my desk. Stop bouncing on my desk. Get out of my house. Okay, bro. The book series. The book series is the good one, says Dom. Young Justice is so good as well. It leaves you tearing up at some points. It was a recommendation by a co-worker of mine. I told him to watch something, and he told me what to watch. I told him to watch an anime called Kotaro Lives Alone. Very good anime, if I do say so myself. Um, it's not my work. I like it, though. Hey, dude. Welcome to the nice part of town. Yet another day, day dwindles away while I loaf in bed, doing nothing. Oh, guess what? I won first prize in the happy lucky lottery today, but I didn't even go outside. I should have gone to collect my prize. Oh, well, I'm already rich anyway, so whatever. Dude, not cool, man. Anyway, I'm gonna go find your da lottery ticket, which I bet is somewhere in town. What do you have to say? Go into the sea of theater as my hobby or something. I mean, the reason I like the drama so much is because I live in a town like this. It hasn't been much, much fun lately since my favorite actress left the stage for good. It's torture for fans like me. Well, sorry. Sorry, Girl Scout. Really, really hate to hear that. What about you, bud? Every day is a lucky day with a happy lucky lottery. With new numbers every day, the lottery is fun and exploding with excitement. I'd love to tell you more. Tell me more! That's the way. Happy Lucky Lottery is so special. You pick numbers, they might win each and every day. Just buy your numbers here, one at a time. Buy another if you change your mind. Then check back later on this board to see if your number's coming. If your number matches the day's draw, you get a super happy lucky prize. The day's number is drawn each night at midnight. If you play around and check the board every day, your number is sure to come in eventually. And when I say midnight, I mean according to your Nintendo GameCube clock. You have a GameCube, don't you? Anyway, go ahead, buy a number. Only 10, 10 coins for new customers. Who wouldn't buy one for 10 coins? I'm broke. No, oh, is that so? Yes, I'm happy. That's too bad. Oh, well, come back when you feel like playing the Happy Lucky Lottery. In the meantime, I'll be... sad. Sorry, dude. Don Pianta? Are you kidding me? Ordinary guys like me never get to meet a guy like him. Even if you were to meet him, there's no telling what he might do to you. If you really, really want to see him, ask the robo boss on the east side of town about him. Yeah, I bet Ishno will know how to get in touch with Don Pianta. I already did. Child, tell me, t tell me something. I'm still down that grave. Man, I was close. Yeah, I know where that thing leads to all too well. Well, get it? It's a well. I was the kid who almost fell down the well. It's a sewer grate, and I don't want to go in there. Don't make me go near the grate, dude. Don't go near the grate. Dear mister, I just told you don't go to the grate. Holy shit, he fell in. Somebody help the man in red. I can still hear him screaming from up here. Oh, hey, no, 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 that, no, no, that, oh, shit. Oh, jeez. Battle time. Shit, I fell. Oh, well, that's, that's fine, then. I would much rather have my buddy, um, um, Koopy Whoopy Hoopy Doopy. Yeah, that's his name now. Update, update, sugar is extra sensitive for some reason. Sugar? Interesting. I wonder if you also have a toothache, too. I don't know. I don't know. I, does sugar... Sugar is extra sensitive for some reason. That's really interesting. I don't know about that. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't have any sugar sensitivity. I wonder if that's like a, a common symptom. Hm. It's the first I've heard for it. Well, I guess stay away from the sweets then. Keep yourself well. Drink lots of water and sleep all the time. Literally. All the time. If I had my way, I'd be sleeping a lot more than what I usually do. So I envy you in a way. But that's okay. I get to work from home tomorrow, and usually that means I get a little bit more... Br uh, usually, I get to sleep. In the time that it would take me to get to work, I get to take a little nap in the meantime. And honestly, I'm okay with that. Save all game progresso? Yes. Yes, I will. Save my game progresso. It's all about progresso. Progressive. Star piece. Hey, yo. Die. Die, die. Die, die. Die. No, come on. Dude, let me... Aw, oh, son of a gun. 
No, get away from me. Stop hitting me. Oh, you have a nice badge. I want that badge. Um, I'm gonna use my special star power on you. Yeah! I'm gonna quake you into the ground. You can't feel it anymore. Bap, bapity, bapity, bap. Just like that. Right on attack. Gonna attack these little spiral dudes. And, and that'll keep them from doing bad things in the hoods. Because the hoods is not really... Damn it. That's what I get for invoking the name of... I don't know. The hood or something? Did I kill you? I killed all of them. That was perfect. I didn't need to overpower them. Did I get the badge though? It'd be really cool if I got that badge. That's all right. Hit the ground? Hit the ground running. Nope, I have to wait till I get my super jump ability for that one. Alrighty then. Um, where does this lead again? I don't know, dude. Where does it go? Where it stops, nobody knows. Nobody knows at all. Oh, wait a minute. I can use flurry down there. Oh, don't touch me. All right. Dom was saying that he would... Oh, shit. He was drinking some soda and it was overloading your senses. Interesting. Yeah, that's something new to me. Well, then. I guess in a way, I guess your body's like, eat healthy so that I may rest myself. Otherwise, I'll hurt you. I know Anna was having some problems with sweets and stuff. Um, she had a toothache thing. But uh, they gave her a root canal, and now she's okay. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. I'm gonna get the upper hand. I'm gonna get the other hand. Yes, I got the upper hand. The upper hammer, I guess. I didn't use my hands. Catch me with these iron hands. And even more iron hammers. Um, I'm gonna hammer you again. Because that's what I need to do. Boop, boop. Super stylish. And then, and then my pal Flurry over here is going to body slam you. And, um, it is very easy to do so. There is a lot of body to slam with. In a good way. In a very good way. Bam. Oh, shit. Well, oh, I didn't counter like I wanted to. Time to do the bounce. Bouncy, bouncy. Bincy, wincy. Bincy, wincy, bouncy, wouncy. Fancy, wouncy, louncy, downcy. Ooh, woo. No. No, no. No, 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 no. Thank you for that. No coins? <laughs> I gotta pay people around here. Come on, man. Pay your way. Be nice. Oh, can't do that yet. Gotta wait till I get the next ability. Alright, well. What's in here? Oh, no! It's the Pit of Elions and Hundred Trials! I forgot about that. I did not want to be here. I did not. Now I gotta go all the way back up. Oh, man! I didn't want to do that. Oh well, just some more time. I think what we'll probably do. I'm ma I'm getting to Glitz Pit. I'm getting to the Glitz Pit tonight, Glitzville. I'm gonna get the Glitzville. I'm going way up in the air. That's what I'm gonna do tonight. I'm gonna go to the floating town in the sky. That's what I like to do. Floating town in the sky, good thing to do. Very fun stuff ahead of it. Very very cool. I like floating towns in the sky. Love floating towns in the sky. Don't mind me, I'm mixing the two drinks that I made together. Alright. Cheers, folks. It's the same drink, just one's got some egg white in it. And a little bit of egg yolk, too. My mistake. Oopsie whoopsie. Still tastes great. Very, honestly, I didn't I didn't think that drinking maple syrup was going to taste bad. It tastes really good. It's a very excellent cocktail. I'm going to try sleeping again. Take care. You too, man. Seriously, rest up. I hope you feel better. Anybody out there, keep yourself well. Mentally, physically, spiritually, in every other way. Supposedly, and I was being informed of this by my dearest who studies physical therapy, that there's a, there's a many, 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 many different aspects to health. And there's a whole, I, I think there's a wheel or something. There's like a wheel of health or whatever, and there are different points on the wheel. And you want to try to knock all those points. You really do. You really do. I don't exactly know what those points are, though. Um, I know mentally, spiritual, emotional... Physical, sexual's on there too. Um, there might be others. There's probably others. I don't exactly know what else there is. Those are like the main. Was that six? It might have been six. That was probably six. By the way, I apologize. Apologies if I keep going like off frame and stuff. I I, I decided to use my fiance's uh, kneeling chair, which actually allows me to rock back and forth. It's really awesome. 
Like, I, I, if I rock back and forth too much, I will fall over, and I don't really want to do that. However, I'm actually tech, I'm sitting on the butt, and there's nothing against my back, and I am kneeling. My knees are on the other part of the chair, and it's actually very comfy. Uh, it's just I slouch. So if I'm like this, I'm slouching. But if I'm like this, that means I'm sitting up straight properly with proper posture. And that's what I'm attempting to do. I realized that my gaming chair actually wasn't that comfortable for me. And I was thinking, like, maybe if I stole Anna's kneeling chair, that it'd be easier for me. But, um... And so far it is. I actually, I really like this so far. It's a very, very nice chair. I can sit in the box. That's great. I might have to buy one. Uh, one for myself, actually. Because I think it's really good for streams. And for working from home, too. Because I've been doing that recently. Recently, uh, I think I mentioned this last week, but we implemented a new like work from home policy where like uh, two days a week we can work home work from home if we want to. And I think I'm actually a lot more productive for it. It's a good thing. The door doesn't open. Sad. Y'all have money. Y'all got y'all got money over here. Do you you guys get money? Money is good. What's in this chest? All oh, money. Money, 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 money. I know. Is it a badge? Soft stop. Nice. I think soft stop will. I don't know what soft stop does actually. I'm I'm unsure. Any more star pieces around here? There might be. Pieces of star? Ayo! Ayo 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 Nice job. Nice job, Mario. Oh, did you come here to do research too? Excuse me. You're an adventurer. Really? Wow, that's the first I've heard anyone describe their occupation as adventurer. Dude, harsh, man. Yo, Eddie the Mask here, sports fan extraordinaire. Know about stylish moves? It's just press A with perfect timing during an attack to pull up a stylish move. If you do it right, the crowd will just go nuts. And some attacks have multiple ones. Each attack has different timing for stylish moves, but I'll share one with you. Right after you hammer an enemy, try pressing A. Sound hard? Well, it ain't easy. That's why you gotta practice, yo. It's all about practice. As my Spanish teacher once said, to learn Spanish, practica, practica, practica. Which is what she told me was Spanish for practice. Oh, I get it. You're trying to open that giant doorway down there, aren't you? What did you think is behind that thing, huh? I I don't I don't know. The treasure beyond my wildest dreams. Item shop, item shop, item shop. Yo, dude, you sell stuff? Nice. Uh, hi there. Welcome to the Deep Down Depot. <laughs> what can I do for you? Yeah, I'm cool, actually. That's fine. I don't really need anything from you. I know golden bars. The gold bar. This is a really, really expensive place. I know the gold bar can actually be used in certain recipes once you unlock the double um, recipe of uh, the two ingredient recipes from Zest Tea. Um, but you know. Hi, everybody! What's up? I know stuff too. Seriously. Like, when the wind blows, the cradle will fall. When the wind blows, the cradle will fall. I don't know why it falls, because no one tells me! Bro, what's up? Bro, what's up? Hey, talk to me. Oh, a visitor, huh? Wait, man, this dude knows everything. He'll give you some seriously good advice. Of course, you'll have to pay him for it. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Hey, bro, tell me something. Howdy! Name's Wonky, and I just know stuff. I may not look like much, but I know a thing or two. You'd better believe it. And who knows? The stuff I know may even be stuff that can help you. So, if you want to ask me a question, just step up, ask away. <laughs> so you want to ask of old Wonky, right? If you pay me five coins, suppose I can tell you about the mysterious troops. No. You need to know stuff about stuff. Just ask me. Deep down, does your your wall looks like it opens? It does not open. Bartender, give me a skinny. Try skinny. Skinny. Give me a skinny. This is a special refuge for all where we cultivate information. Herb tea's place. Zesty's upstairs. I'm herb. Sit back and enjoy yourself. Okay. I don't. I don't have the inf I don't want info. The troops. The troops. You say. The troops. The troops. The troops will say. Troops. Troopy whoopy dee swoopy dees. Well, I don't got none of that. Sorry, y'all. Well, I made my way down to the deep down. So that was cool. But there wasn't anything of interest down here that I was looking for. I needed money. I have exactly five coins now. I don't know. I need 14. I need more things. I need more monies. So I will try to find more monies. I will fight people. I will fight the folks that... I'll fight the folks to gain more money. Damn it. Whoops. How about if I blow you all away with my special Gale Force attack? 
Come on, you got it. You got it. Oh my god. Bye bye. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Give me my points. One point each. Only one star. Any coin? Kajit, give me coin. Mm, thank you for coin. Cameron, appreciate. I am not Kajit, but I appreciate coin nonetheless. Hit you with the hit you with hammer. Hammer. Hammer time. Bam. Whoa. Hammer time. Bam, my lamb. And I hit you in the face with my hammer. Technically, like, a quarter of your body is face. So it's not that hard to do, honestly. Uh, Quake hammer? Slightly damage all ground enemies. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, I didn't do that right. But I was stylish about it. I may not have done that correctly, but damn. Did I do it well? I'll switch. You can't. You can't do what I want you to do. Coops. Oh, the counter didn't work. It's at times like these where... I wish I were better. I wish I were better at what I do. But alas, I fall short sometimes. This is how it be. Okay. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. I think this cocktail has really had a chance to separate or something like that. Because that tasted really like maple syrup. In a good way. It was so good. Save all progresso. Save all the progresso. All right. I don't want to go down there yet. That's how we get to the to the, the, the uh, pit of a hundred trials or whatever. I don't want to go there just yet. I do have some more money. Is it enough? Probably not. If I wanted more money, I could definitely get some. Actually, I haven't been to the train in the back yet. Let's go talk to the folks in the back. Actually, how much money do I have? Ten. Still need more cash. I need fourteen. Then I can talk to the Pianta boy. If I come back with a lot more money, I can make more money. It's all about using money to make money, you know? I will give me a liminal blimp. This blimp goes to Blitzville. Will you be joining us on our flight today? Yeah. Ah, please allow me to check your boarding pass. Awfully sorry, but you must have a pick to board the blimp. No free tours today. Sorry. Hey, you got a ticket? Give me a ticket. I tell you, I like just standing here gazing at the train more than I would like riding, riding it. Because <laughs> if I were to ride, I wouldn't get to see how cool its main engine looks. Honestly, it looks a lot cooler on the outside than it does on the inside. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, look at that. But I could just afford a ticket. I might ride it. Just once. Hey, what about you? Want to let me drive the train? This train is bound for the luxurious Posley Heights. Will you be boarding today? Yeah. Well, wonderful. If you don't mind, please allow me to check your ticket. I'm sorry, but only ticketed passengers are allowed on the train. Security measures. You all make me sad. Kai, you gotta love train platforms, man. I bet this place has seen as many dramatic encounters as there are stars in space. Well, the thought of it all, I just love it. Yeah, but none of you give me a train pass. That's sad. It makes me sad. Well, okay. I know I need to talk to Don Pianta to get the, the pass, so... I'm not... I'm not exactly surprised, but I need more money. So I guess I'm gonna go sell things. What can I sell? Well, I did grab some stuff in the basement. Basement. From the underground. So I can go sell them. And then use that money to get more money. Maybe. Hey there, cutie. Welcome to Westside Goods. Can I get a do for you? What do you want to sell? I want to sell the slow sh the gradual syrup. I'll pay you seven coins for your gradual syrup. Sound good? Well, thanks so much, cutie. Anything else you want to sell, maybe? No, that's actually fine. I lied. I want a dried shroom. That's going to be two coins for that dried shroom. Care to buy it, cutie? Yeah. Oh, thanks, sugar. Oh, My game crashed. That's okay. Oh, just kidding. No, everything is still running. That's great. I thought the game crashed. It did not. It just stuttered for a moment. That's going to be 12 coins for that dizzy dial. Care to buy it, cutie? Yeah. Oh, thanks, sugar. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. All right, mister. What color is your mustache? That's not my favorite color. It's... My, my mustache is black. Oops, what's wrong with me? That wasn't the right question at all. Um, yeah, let's try that again. <clears throat> okay, mister. What's your favorite color? Oh, it's yellow. <laughs> I knew that. Aha, well, you check out. You know the password. So, um, you must be an acquaintance of Don Pianta. Good for you. Ooh, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Hmm. 
Excuse me while I speak Eldritch into the door. It's the language of love and gambling. You can go through the door. Go on with your bad self. Get on in there, boy. I like to think as soon after the ghost lady says, get on with your bad self, as Mario walks by, she slaps him. Get on with your bad self. Mmm. Go get him, mustachioed man. All right. Time to go talk to the boss, man. Hi, boss. Boss? Hey, tell me about the boss. Tell me about the boss. Hey, it's the office of the Bianca Syndicate. Don't tell me you don't know that. I, I didn't until now. If you got no business here, scram a lamb. Just came up with that now. Do you like it? I'm gonna take that as a yes, actually. What's up with you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. You got beef. Spit it out. Quicker this gonna hurt. Oh! Excuse me. You wanna... You want me. Give you a ticket for the blimp. See now, to me, that's kinda funny. You a stand-up comedian? Nah, well you ought to be. Honestly, you seem like one of them folk that are probably be streaming on the internets, making the laughs and the ha-has. Smile, you know? If only. Got some nerve asking me about that. I'm Don Pianta. Make crying babies weep. Make weeping babies just straight up sob. Make sobbing babies explode. You heard it here first. <laughs> you want I should run this bum out on a rail bus? Look at him. What a rube. Or was it lube? Or was it rube? I don't, I don't remember. Uh, What's that pain, funny guy? Just looking for trouble or what? Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. Just came to talk, no? That ain't a crime. Talking's not a crime. Honestly, let your voice run free. So we talk. The boys can wait till we're done here before you rough them up. We got it? So, gotta assume you got a reason for wanting the ticket for the blimp. Out with it. Come on. Speak of Papa Pianta. What's that? You want to help some broad what got herself kidnapped? And the rescue this day, out here collecting the crystal stars. The crystal stars? Hey boss, ain't those things in that legend about the ancient treasure? Vinny, you're such a dope. Hey boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. And I believe that I'm a comedian too. Uh, excuse me, but um, that's not true. The treasure is real, honest. Everybody just shot it, man. I don't... Don't care if it's the treasure or real or not. Get me? But I tell you. I can't help but like a guy. Who wants to rescue some skirt he fell for. Mm, do I feel that? I made my decision. You do me a little favor. Get your blimp ticket. Sounds fair, right? So, we could do anything. What is it? It's easy. It's nothing. Less than nothing. Simple. Teeny bit. Less than... Shaving in the morning. Easy. See, the thing is, my own daughter eloped with one of my young associates. They vanished. It wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to still be nearby. Gotta find my daughter. <laughs> Francesca. And this, Frankie. Bring him both here. You are unable to bring him here. And that's... Then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. And I shall settle this matter quickly. With what is known as extreme prejudice. Boss, we don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goof all for this job. Yeah, yeah, boss. Vinny's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. You're quiet, you. You shut your mouth. I make the decisions here. It's cause you lugs can't find it. I gotta swallow my pride and that's this guy, you idiots, you dumbos, get out of here. You're no good. I hope you don't say making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? I'ma talk to you about it. But no boss, whatever you say goes boss. Whatever you want, man. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You you the you the boss, boss boss, boss. It's good. I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. <laughs> so it's settled, yeah? Find my daughter. And a friend. Then come see me. 
Francesca? Frankie? It looked like this. Appearing in my brain. Stashiod man. Look at this picture. Look at this picture. Burn this image into your mind. That's my butte. That's my butte. My butte. I'm Frankie. And just so we're clear here. If you don't find my daughter. Your luck may turn. <laughs> well, that's pretty spooky. Where the daughter at? Where's the dame? They're hiding somewhere close by, but oh where, oh where could that dame be? Oh where, oh where could she be? Hi there, cutie. <laughs> hey there. Hot stuff. Now it's a matter of finding the peoples. I, I don't I don't remember. Uh, do I have enough money to buy more stuff? Can I buy my happy token today? I want a number. Ten co mm, well, that ain't happening. Alrighty then. Well, that ain't happening. Hey, anybody know about this Francesca girl? Anybody, anybody, anywhere? No? Alright, well. Let's go save our progress, I guess. Be nice. Okay. Well. I do not remember... I do not remember where I need to go to find the peoples. I bet if I had some information from people, perhaps I'd be able to find them. Or maybe they're hiding somewhere down here. I think I have an image in my mind of seeing the two of them together. But I don't know where. Maybe they're hanging in one of these places. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Perhaps. I know there might be an ability somewhere down here that I can grab. But I don't quite recall. I could go to these folks asking for information, but I need more money, and I don't have money. Y'all know about Francine? Francine and Francesca? Yeah, no? Alrighty then. Well, do you know anything about the peoples? Yeah, yeah, you don't know anything. No, nobody tells you. Yo, next sh next game should be the rice farmer one. I like that idea. Sakuna of Rice and Ruin. That one seemed cool. I think somebody recommended that to me, and I bought it. I don't know what it's about. Sounds cool. I like your suggestion, Disney Queen. And you know what else I like? I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers just cannot deny. Because when a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in my face, you get sp sprung or anything like that. You got it in a gift exchange I did for you. I remember now. That's where I got that game. Thank you for the reminder, dearest. I completely forgot. I often forget where things come from because I am dense. Dense on the inside, dense on the outside. I'm... That's some dense bone in there, at least from what I've been told. Alright, listen, man. I got I gotta sell things. I'm here to sell whatever I have. I'm I'm completely voiding my inventory. Here, take it. Just just sell it all. All of it. Do it. Sell it all. T take take all the months. Just, just, just take it all. I need it cash. I'm not donating it to the poor. I need money. Sorry, I got angry there. Requiring currency and not being able to gain it fairly bothers Mario. Not me, Mario. Mario's the one who's bothered here. I don't remember where these folks are. I feel like I didn't gain any new abilities. I just have some more information now. Can't open this door. Does not seem to open. Unfortunate. What if I hit on the wall? Blow away the wall. Hit things. Hit things with my special abilities. Hmm. Where could they be? They said they would be around here somewhere, but where could they be? Nope, stop. stop. I just came here to save. I just came to save and go back upstairs. Save and go back upstairs. Save and go back upstairs. No, back upstairs. Hi there, you look annoying. My name's Cameron. Let's talk. Or not. That's fine. One, two. Well, bam. Stylish, man. Let's not talk. Let's just use our fists to do the talking. All right, that was cool. Um, but it's not what I'm looking for. I don't yet have super jump. Not yet. But I will. Eventually. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sniffling. The lemon juice in the cocktail is getting to me. All right, now that I'm up here, where can I find Francine and the others? Where is a place that I haven't yet been to? Oh, hi there. Oh, never mind. You're just the dude behind the thing. That's all you is. The dude behind the thing. That's all. That's all you'll ever be. 
What if I talk to the folks for the train? I forget. Maybe they were up here? Were they back here? I know they were somewhere in this town, but I don't remember. Were they hanging on the platform? Maybe they were hanging on the platform. Hanging on the platform? Hanging on the platform, maybe. Not just kidding. Y'all send me piantas? Yeah, I'm boarding. I lied. <laughs> just kidding. I lied to you. See any people? No. Do you have you seen any people around here? No, that's fine. Save as often as you can, or you might die. Lose progress. That'd be disappointing. That's fine. We're okay. Continuing onwards then. Anybody, anybody, anywhere. Where, oh where, could I find two people just hanging out and existing in each other's love? How about a bar? People hang at bars? That's something that people do. Actually, I have a I have an inkling. I have an idea. I thought I did. I might have seen something. No, it's not what I thought it was. I can't get on top of that trash can, can I? I cannot. I can actually get back there. Be on the lookout for anything or anybody that might be able to help us. Maybe they're hanging in the town. Perhaps they are at the board. I don't know. Honestly, anywhere. Maybe they're trying to get away together. Maybe they're on the boat. They're trying to run away to a new land together. And that's what they've done. Hey, y'all seen any piantas? You're still looking for oil. I'm not giving you any money. Not just yet. Hey, y'all. Y'all. Y'all? Seen any piantas around here? Hey, look at that. Piantas trying to escape. What's up? <laughs> I found you. Hey, back off, you creep. You want something? Just like slam sidling up on people. What? Daddy asked you to find us? And take us to him? <laughs> Frankie, what should we do? Daddy finds us now. Oh, I don't know. And the boat's coming any minute. Dollface, maybe we ought to head back. Try to talk to the boss one more time. Nah, Frank, you don't say that. Don't you know what he'll do if we do want to... Don't, don't you know what he'll do to you if we do that? Francesca, maybe, doll. We can just talk calm like with the boss. He'll understand. Oh, Frankie, my Frankie, don't you love me? Of course I love you, sugar cookie. My, more than anybody in the whole world. Let's go, Frankie. Let's run to the ends of the earth if we have to. But Butter Biscuit, they already found us out. Can't keep running forever. We can, Frankie. The more you try to put out the flames of love, the hotter they burn. Haven't you ever watched a candle... Burn, Frankie, haven't you ever watched my candle burn for you? Until I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames of passion. No one, nobody at all, Frankie, I tell you, Frankie, they won't. Don't you see, miss, I beg you, pretend you never saw us. Can you do that? <laughs> of course. Oh, thank you, thank you, you swell, mister. You're a real stand-up guy. <clears throat> I'm gonna go tell your father I found you. <clears throat> Sorry, girl. I just, I gotta... Good. Meander my way to the south side. West side. <laughs> Have fun, you two. <laughs> You'll be happy together. Bye-bye. Can't see me waving from a distance. Can't see me. Fingers behind my back. Totally crossed. Crossed fingers. My goodness. No, nope. can't see me. No, 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 no. Definitely not going to tell your parents. Um, what should we do? I mean, I guess we should go tell Dob Piata something. But, but I, I don't want our luck to turn terrible. Whatever that means. Well, Coops, um, you know what they say. The truth will set you free. And I... I'm a caged man. And all I want is out, Coops. I want out. Uh, Alright, man. Fine, we'll tell we'll tell him. But don't you feel bad for the couple? No! I don't. Not at all. It's a doggy 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 turtle world out there, Coops. Eat pineapple person. That's what it's all about. Oh, look who's come back. The proverbial mustache. Gonna brighten my mood, like mustaches do. Take a look at this. So give what you got. 
You know where the whereabouts of these two runaways? Sure do, and I'll tell you. Oh, is that a true fact? Report Arba, hey? Well done. I appreciate this favor you done for me. I'll prepare your blimp tickets. Hey, hey! You too! Nimrods! Kids out of harbor. Now get them! Daddy waits! Daddy says no, girl. Oh! Francesca. Boss. Forgive me, boss. I'm sorry. Truly, I am. Frankie. So! Back you come, head angler. With your tail between your legs. Wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. No, Daddy, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should have loved it. it. was me. It was all my idea. But Frankie said no. He said we should come back and talk to you, Daddy. Boss, listen. I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it all for being disloyal. You gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, Daddy. No, no, no. I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you're going to punish anyone, punish me. No, boss. It's all on me. It's my responsibility. All the blame right here. Daddy! Boss. No. Enough. Quiet, both of you. Francesca, my headstrong daughter, you used up your last favor long ago. And you, Frankie. You were like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Don Bianca. I feel such disappointment in you two. Like a poison shroom. Right in my gut. Daddy! Boss! I don't ever want to see your mugs again. You hear me? Get out of my sight! Both of you. I don't care where. Just go! That's what you expect of me to say, huh? That's what I'm saying! Go! Do what you want! Even if it means getting married. Oh, Daddy! Dad! No. Wait. I mean... Boss! Thank you so much, Daddy. Thanks for your blessing. Boss, I'll make your daughter a happy woman. I promise you. She'll want for nothing. Enough already. Just go. Go! <laughs> Francesca, seeing you this happy makes me happy too. Congrats. Both of you. Frankie, this is great. Ain't quite what I promised, but hey. Things turned out okay, am I right? Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell. Thank you. You skittle <laughs> Skittle away. Hey, man, how you feeling? Still here? <laughs> well, found my daughter. And got her back to come back here. Just look at how things turned out. What a complete and utter soap opera. Right. Feels the deal. You can have your blimp ticket, like I said. Oh no. The guy's got a smile and need it here. He's happy. That's good. Hey, I knew you were the right man for the job. Thanks a bunch, Pally. But I, I don't want to see that gloomy face of yours no more. Don't, don't ever come back here. Bye! Peace out, guys. I did exactly what I needed to do. Got my ticket, and just like the shallow-hearted man I am, Mario, that is, I'm out of here, yo. <laughs> Bye! I'm going to the Glitz Pit. Wow, we did it, Mario. We could go to Glitzville. That's, that's kind of what I said, man. Hello! Email? No, okay, I actually have to check the email. Excuse me. <laughs> I forgot I gotta do that. It's an email! ding a ling a ling ding a ling a ling how, how do I do this again? Oh, I have to go to my gear, and then my important things, and then the box, and then... Koopley! Koopley says... Barrio Koops, how are you boys doing? Just amazed. I had no idea a machine like this could be used to send messages! 
Technology. Wow. <laughs> I'm doing great. Drinking fresh spring water, picking wildflowers, polishing my shell. This town seemed so boring ten years ago, but I see the world differently now. Bet you'll like Petalburg more than you used to once you get back from your adventure, Coops. So where are you headed next? I want you to see the wide world, son. It'll be good for you. But don't go too far past that front door. <laughs> from Coopley, your father, who's still alive and not dead. I love you, son. Go, oh, daddy. Of course you love me, dad. I love you too, man. Always do. Up, up we go to the Glitzville, the villiest of the glitziest of vills. Save the game progress. Yeah. Can I go to the Can I go to the blimp now, please? This blimp goes to Glitzville. Will you be joining us on our flight today? Huh? Please allow me to check your boarding pass. Then please watch your step as you step aboard. And off we go to the Bio Blue Yonder. There's a star piece over there. You took it. It was mine. You scoundrel. You took my piece from me. And now I'll have to cry. Yeah, the forest was fake. It was my forest. It was a ruse. Absolute ruse. You stupid thieves. Please enjoy your flight. We did it, and here we go, up to the clouds. I've always wanted to ride in a blimp and a zeppelin. That'd be cool, too. Oh, we did it. White screen. Curtains, curtains, folks. And now begins chapter three, which is called Of Glitz and Glory. I like the glitz pit. It's got an interesting narrative. We'll see that. But what we'll see is whatever happens next time after the game winds up saving itself, probably. Oh, we get a little cutscene. We'll, we'll go to the next save point, naturally. Honestly, don't know how much energy it takes to keep a, you know, a giant, an entire town up in the air, but it must be pretty expensive, which is probably why you only get it from the gentrified west side of Rogueport. Rather disappointing, if you ask me. It's sad. It's a sad narrative. All right. Onward, right? Onward indeed. To the Glitz Pit! It is taking a long time to get there. I don't know if it's actually just above the surface or whether we had to do some traveling like longitudinally or latitudinally. But uh, we did it. Alright, time for the airdrop! The airdrop? The airdrop! Woohoo! Down he goes! Into the town! It's Glitzville! Uh, yeah. This would be Glitzville, alright. Uh, how do they make it float? I mean, it hasn't ever, you know, plunged from the sky or anything, has it? It doesn't look like it's fallen from the sky any time recently. <laughs> I'm not afraid. You're afraid. I'm not the coward. You're the coward. Stop insulting me, Mario. Time to hunt down that crystal star, huh, Mario? I know I'm ready. I'm ready! To save and call it a night. That's that's about where I'll leave it. Save all game progress? Of course we would! With the beautiful sounds of the glitz and glamour in the background. To everybody out there who came to the party this evening, I appreciate you greatly. This is where we're gonna, I'm gonna call it quits for the evening. So, thank you everybody so much for coming along. I enjoy Paper Mario. I hope you do too. We had a wonderful cocktail as we normally do. Stick around if you'd like. I don't know why I said that. Don't stick around. This is the end. This is this is where it ends. Stick around. If we raid, we might raid. We might have some friendzos on. And if we do, stick around for the raid. If you like that kind of stuff, come on back next time. Another fanciful episode of... Twitch. Thanks, everybody, so much for watching. Have a wonderful evening, if it's the evening where you are. Have a wonderful rest of the day, if the sun is shining where you are. No matter where you are, no matter what time zone, I hope that the party continues wherever we are in the world. Thank you all, and good night, and of course, bye.